Good morning, happy Mother's Day. Whether you are celebrating the life, uh, the love and support of your own mother or recognising and appreciating all your own achievements if you're a mum yourself, I hope you're having a fantastic day. And hi Kate, um, what I wanted to share with you this Mother's Day is a, is a little tip from um, a book that I love um, that my coach bought for me last year. I talked about it the other day. Um, it's the Simple Abundance book um, by Sarah Ban Brannock. I hope I say her surname correctly. I'll pop the link in afterwards. Um, but I got so many messages last week. Last week I took, I took myself off for um, a self-created retreat. So I had five days and nights on my own without the children doing whatever I wanted, just going out whenever I wanted, just, you know, blissful, really, sleep as well. And I got so many messages from ladies saying, oh, I wish I could do that, or that sounds amazing, but I can't do that, or um, I've been meaning to do that, but I just don't get round to it. And, you know, it's, it's, it's something that seems really impossible, and I'm conscious that it may have seemed in my posts like something I just went and did, um, but it wasn't. I booked it over six months ago. It was a good six to eight weeks of um, deliberating, researching, looking at different options before I even booked it. And then all the planning for um, how the children would be supported, making sure my husband um, could get in and out of work, all these sorts of things to make it happen. So it does take a lot of organizing when you've got little ones to work around but it's not impossible and that's the tip that I wanted to share with you and it is from this book so it's not my idea but I just think it, it's fantastic and in the book Sarah talks about a hope chest and um, you can start with a shoebox it doesn't have to be anything fancy but create a space where you are going to put in your, it may be just your ideas, it may be cutouts from magazines, um, you might have a savings pot in there that you start and put money into, but whatever it is, it's for a specific purpose, for something you hope to do in the future or that you've dreamt of doing for some time, and it's a way to help to plan towards that reality, because until we almost flick that switch in our head, that it's, it's a it would be a nice to do in the future too that's something I'm going to do um, you will never get there but any of these dreams you can create the reality um, to, to make them happen for you but you have to take the action and it can seem very very daunting it can seem impossible or a mountain to climb and we we often put all sorts of excuses in our own way such as um, I haven't got the time, I can't afford it, it would never work because, blah blah blah. So whatever the reasons are, creating your own hope chest um, and putting elements in there that will help you to work towards and plan for whatever it is you want to do and say so it doesn't have to be um, a retreat. Um, it, it may be something like a spa day or um, it may be maybe you fancy doing a, a long work uh, a long walk or um, some other kind of a fitness challenge but you don't feel you're ready to take that on yet so it's, it's kind of breaking down the steps that might get you there maybe it's a dream holiday for all the family um, and and your hope chest then would be sort of cutouts of the places where you want to go just researching the different areas and the things you can do while you're there because I always think um that with these things, a lot of the fun and a lot of the reward is in the actual planning of it. So if you can um, create your own hope chest, it starts to flick that switch in your mind, turning that, oh, wouldn't it be nice if into this is going to be so great when and it's just a say flicking that switch in your head start to turn that language but seeing those things in your own own hope chest that help you to work towards it so as I say I think this book is is sort of a wonderful thing you just read um sort of a page a day it's all done by um days of the year um and there's lots and lots of gems in there like 
the hope chest. But whatever you're doing today, I hope you have a wonderful day. As I'll, I'll share the link for the book below so you can go and grab it for yourself if you want that in your hope chest. Or it makes it, it does make a wonderful present. I received it as a gift and I've given it to several people as a gift as well. Um, but have a wonderful day today on Mother's Day and I shall speak to you again soon. Take care. Enjoy your day, Kate. Bye for now.